Well, how timely. Just finished. Turn this off. For that, you'll have to turn off airplane mode. Sorry, okay. Let me turn off airplane mode. <laughs> Let me follow instructions. Hey, turn off airplane mode. That's what they said. Let me turn it off. Boom, it's off. Okay. There we go. Make the things off too. That was pretty, that was pretty timely. I, uh, because I have been, I have been listening to, um, which one on time, a sofa house mix. It's a one hour, it says one, eight, three, let's call it an hour, almost an hour and a half, hour and a half. But before that, uh, I was playing Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Uh, but what happened was I tried to download it and it didn't download for some reason, right? So what I had to do was when I was walking, because I always listen to my on Sunday morning because later on I do the you know Sunday sermon with Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. out of his book. And so I try to listen to it like on on the Saturday or Sunday, you know, then when I do the thing, I have a sort of minimus nearly full of juniors mood, right? Uh, but uh, because I couldn't do that, then I had to listen to it on, um, I listen to it because I don't like to be, if I listen to it on YouTube, then it gets interrupted by commercials, but I listen to it on Brave, then it goes straight through. Hey, how about this? This is uh, Buddha Teas, CBD Turmeric and ginger tea, that's what this is. Uh, by using the highest quality herbs, there is absolutely no need to include any artificial or natural flavoring. Enjoy your tea the way nature intended. WWWCBDT. But that's joining. See, I have something in here ready. That's joining the uh, Echinacea Plus. But brother, you, you usually drink water with the, with the tea thing. Well, I had tea last night too. Um, because I, I felt a little, I, I felt like a, a cold was coming on. Now, let me tell you something. I don't get colds. Well, I shouldn't say that. I guess I guess I do get colds, but, you know, I get them like, uh, what, once a, once in every, I should say blue moon, uh, once in every blue moon, but they only last like a day <laughs> because I know what to do. So yesterday, I basically, I don't say fat, yeah, I, I didn't eat. I fasted. I didn't eat. And uh, I got to put something else on there. Cold. Wait a second. Just a second. Uh, well, what else did I play? Let me tell you what else I played this one before I do that. I, well, I tell you, let me put this jacket on first. My fraternity jacket. Please. Pentacles fraternity. It's supposed to be Pentacles military fraternity. CMCC. City Mission Cadet Corps. On my line, see, I was on the uh, the third line. Our line name was Rat Patrol. There was only five of us. <laughs> there was a popular uh, TV program in time with five guys. Rat Patrol, and that's my. Well, it's like like most military my fraternity calling by my last name, right? But my line name, because I was a chaplain on the line, there was only five of us. So we, everybody had an office. So I was soul preacher. Ta -da -da. I was chaplain. That must mean something. I don't know. But let me put this on. It was a little chilly out here this morning. Talking. Oh, my goodness. So while I talk to you out here in nature and protecting myself, so I'm walking this. Well, when you're walking, you're generating heat. So that was, that's that's something, I suppose. Um, so I got to wait for this tea. I steep it a little bit. See, when I get... When I think I'm getting a cold, right, I don't increase my exercise, but what I do is I rest more and I drink tea more. Um, I don't really like, well, I shouldn't say that. But anyway, so, um, so that's what I did yesterday. I just, you know, I went to bed real early, slept, woke up, slept, just slept, and but as usual, woke up at 4, what, 4.30, whatever it is. I got out at uh, like 5.30, um, 5.30 quarter to six somewhere in there and it's like almost 10 o'clock now so I've been out since then but the, the thing I played the first thing I played was isn't it a pity Nina Simone it isn't a pity you know you, you know the emergency ward album where she got her arm spread out like that it's only like three or four cuts on there like on that album right 
But, what, but on that album, he, she's introduced. There's one cut on the album. I forget what it was. She, she, she's introduced. The guy says, uh, "The high priestess of soul, Miss Mia Simone." Right. Well, let me tell you the story of that. Right. That guy that said that, he was a friend. Well, we were both in the service. We were in the Air Force together. Right. And he. His name is Johnson. I, he, again, we call everybody by our last name. I forgot what his first name was, right? But he was a cousin of Beverly Johnson, the model, right? And uh, in fact, he's the one who introduced me to Trotsky. We studied Trotsky together <laughs> in the Air Force. We studied Trotsky together. I can't explain this thing like that. We was at McGuire Air Force Base. But that thing when he introduced me to Simone, and that, that, it's a live recording, right? That was done... At a, at a little at a movie theater outside of Fort Dix, well, McGuire Air Force Base is there, and Fort Dix sort of surrounds McGuire. They're in the same area, right? But the, that's from the the FTA show, the Free the Army show. It was a show, a traveling show that was uh, brought together by um, what's what's Barbarella? What's that? Well, Jane Fonda, and uh, and and uh, and Donald Sutherland, right? And then they had all these acts. I think. I think uh, Voice of E. Harlem was on the show at one point. Anyway, the point is, but Nina Simone was was one, was was the person was the person on there. And so what, what was really interesting when they gave that show because they got a lot of flack from the army because what well, we said free the army, but you can imagine the F, the army was like F the army. That's that's the alternative name for it, right? Okay. Anyway, so um, so in that show, like I said, she, she, they they picked. Uh, they picked Johnson to come up and do the introduction. He was in, he was, in, he was in the Air Force. He was just a, a grunt. Uh, I say grunt. Those are those are whatever. Air Force. We just airmen, you know. Um, but he. Um, so that's what that's what he said. But that show um, was interesting because another thing they did was you know they they, they the, the press the press couldn't be in the front rows. The press had to be a big carrier. It was this was for the enlisted people. Well, for the well, I guess it was mostly enlisted people. I don't, I don't think officers, I guess officers would have consequences if they would have hung out. Anyway, so I give you that little bit of history. Why? Well, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an elder. You know, there's a lot of history. Everybody has history. I keep on telling people, you got to, you really need to talk to your elders and get this history down. And since nobody listened to me, and least of all anybody, whatever have you, one of the things I do, especially when I talk to my YouTube channel, I sort of, well, I give history as, as I've seen it. And I've seen a lot, I've been in a lot of circumstances throughout the world. Anyway, so then I, oh, so I played that, and then, um, oh, and then I played the, the Marvin, the, my walking Marvin. I want you to John Morales next. Um, and then, of course, then I went to um, uh, Valerie Simpson uh, doing um, Love Woke Me Up This Morning, which I particularly like. I always like Valerie. Valerie, Valerie you know, it's interesting, you know, my best friend, he's like a, a Dinah Ross fanatic, right? Like he's trying to say, well, it's, it's Dinah Ross. I'm like, Valerie Simpson. I'm Valerie, Valerie Simpson. He keeps on trying to change. Like, what, 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 is, what is with with people? I like what I like. You like what you like. It's fine. What's the problem? You know? I think that Valerie Simpson is better than, than Dinah Ross. Ta -da! That's what I think. <laughs> That's my opinion. And then, um, and then after Valerie, oh, I went to Gravy Porter, Liquid Spirit. And then I went to uh, 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 Matika, well, well, Matika, you know, and, and Prince. Love that will be done. Love that will be done. It's one of my favorite. It's, 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 people don't understand. Um, love that will be done is a gospel tune. If you change love, the word love for God, you know, God that will be done, then you can you'll understand if you listen to Prince. Love that will be done. Listen to as a gospel tune. Plus, it's got a really good bass on it. I'll tell you something I like that. Right? But it's interesting because when I saw Valerie Simpson and Nicholas Astrid live, I think of the city center, someplace in New York back in the day, right? They did Donna Ross, uh, um, you know, the song they made for Donna Ross called The Boss, right? But they did it and they, they said it was a gospel tune. It's a gospel tune. A lot of the stuff is like, not what you think. Okay, I think this is with my tease. Uh, where should I put this thing well, we're out here in the whatever. I can put this anywhere. Tea bag. I don't like to let them steep for a long time. See, but brother, you use two tea bags, yeah. So I can afford it. <laughs> it's not, I don't. I don't drink tea that much, right? And here's the other thing. Hey, and because of that, I should be setting up, shouldn't I? But because of that, uh, because of my uh, thinking, I'm getting a cold. Well, I guess it's over with now. You know, a little scratchy throat. When I woke up this morning, what I did with with my, with my throat. As I took uh, some uh, 
peroxide and dilute it in water and gargle with peroxide. That'll knock you. Throw it out if you want. Um, and and because of that, usually I had tried to establish this thing on Sundays, but I would, you know, start drinking a, open a bottle of wine and drink it because it's Sunday. And, you know, I was raised Catholic. They drink or so. Oh, hey. Sorry, that came on. That's the beginning of the love that will be done. The re remix. Somebody did a mix of Marika, Matika, whatever her name is, and Prince, and it's really good. I listen to it all the time. Okay. Get this ready. Uh, that's all I had to tell you. Well, I, well, you know, let me see how it's good. Okay. Um, no sugar, no sweetener. You know, no maple syrup, no honey, nothing like that. Just straight. Hey, if you got, if you got, if you got some something in your body, you got to do the straight herbs. You know, you don't be sweetening stuff up. It just doesn't work. Let's just okay. No. Ah. Oh, it's good. It's medicinal. Let's put it that way. Okay, so let us uh, let us get ready for. Uh, damn, what am I going to talk about this morning? I don't. I don't have a topic. I really wasn't thinking. Well, I better figure out something. This is what you have for a moment. But oh, wait, to prove I must have had to go. Just in case. Um. Oh, what am I going to talk about? Oh, I was continuation on, uh, continuation on, 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 I know, I think I know. Let's see. Oh, this is the making of, for those people don't know, this is the making of, you know, behind the scenes, when, the making of an Instagram behind the scenes. That's what I do. Like that. Okay. Go live. Don't, don't, don't. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Hey Instagram, it's me, T from the Pattersons taking the train to the bed. Warning off that don't worry about what I'm doing. Listen, so it's sort of chilly this morning, so I got a oh the jacket, but I didn't wear the jacket when I was when I was walking, but I'm wearing the jacket now. What's just my paternity in the jacket, see? Third line, rat patrol. Oh, you can't read. I'm, read. I'm reading it for you. Third line. It says third line. Third line of Pentecostal military fraternity. Our line name is only five of us that made it, right? So we call, we call it Rap Patrol because there was a, a TV series called the Rap Patrol. We were the Rap Patrol. Then they had my last name because we, it's like a it's paramilitary organization. We call people by our last name, you know, like once in the military, which was interesting because when I walk in the morning, one of the things I really do, and I'm, it's weird that you go back to your childhood because I, I was in the kid I called from the time I was nine years old. Very cool. City Mission Society Cadet Corps. Um, one of the things that 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 that, that they did from nine years old to when I left to nineteen, you know, I was in the Cadet Corps, so we marched. <laughs> so when I so when I walk, you know, I actually at some particular point I actually marched to the music. I march, you know, that's a good exercise. I guess that's why troops can move the way they move, you know. But here's the thing. That's the whole thing. You're informed by a whole bunch of things as as you as you grew up. If you never was in the military, and you never you never was in a paramilitary organization, then you wouldn't know how to march. So when you do your stuff, you wouldn't you wouldn't march. You would you wouldn't know what marching is. You're left. You're right. You're left. Right. Left. Okay. Um, that kind of thing. And and the other thing is, my, I made my fraternity when I was like 16, 16, 17, 16, whatever I was, whatever age I was. But right? and uh, which is like a it's a, it's like a See, originally, not originally, I don't know. I don't know about the Greek fraternity. I can't speak for them because they did the college. They did the college things, right? But it's like a, it's like initiate, it's like a your initiation into manhood, right? So you have to do it at a younger age, you know. I think, you know, like thirteen, it's about 13, 14, 15, right, right around there, you know. Because after that, you know, you belong to the world, uh, like that. So anyway, but I'm gonna try to say you're informed by certain things, and because I'm informed by certain things, then I, I act a certain way. I, I I I approach things a certain way because I'm informed by certain things. And but I'm informed by a lot of things. Not a, and first I was informed by books. I mean I was a ferocious reader. You know what I mean? So you uh, I was listening to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. this morning. You know. Uh, as I want to do on Sunday mornings, I uh, listen to the whole two hours as I'm walking, you know. Well, I'm, but I, actually, I'm not marching. But yes, I guess I am marching when I'm listening to Mr. Lee Fuller Jr. He gives me my marching orders because, you know, it's the code, the code, the real code, not the code. People say you got to be on code. What did that mean? Wow. 
I don't know what that means for those people. Anyway, uh, 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 so what was I saying? Um, again, I lost. I lost a trend of thought because I went to the to the march and the Mr. Nilly Food the Junior, whatever. Oh, okay. I was informed by a lot of things like books and stuff like that. And so I, before I was traveling, I was traveling through books, you know. So when I really started to travel a lot and talking to people, and, and because I, I, I like to talk to people, right? And you, you'd be surprised if you there's just not. People are so fearful these days, and we're so isolated. We don't talk to people. Unfortunately, that's unfortunate. I guess you got to be in the right setting to talk. But you know, you should you should talk to people. That's my message for this morning. Talk to people. I I mean, you know, just talk to people. Then again, I'm I'm travel. I'll be traveling a lot, a lot. We're traveling a bit in December, so I'll be talking to people, right? Because that's what I do, right? Yeah. And the more talk you get, the more information you get. But uh, I miss, here's a whole, here's a trick about talking to people, especially people don't know this. Here we go. And Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. brings this out. Look, when you ask a question, a lot of the times people, they, they, they have their own answer. And when the person is answering, they throw their answer in, but they just ask the question. Why don't you wait for the whole thing to come come to you? I learned this because I'm from New York, and so we sort of talk over each other like that. Right? But when I was traveling, I realized that people in, in other Places, you know, they actually give you the space to listen and like that. So I had to adjust, you know, for being a New Yorker and just talking you know, over. We talk to each other. We know what we're saying to actually listening like that. But then again, you know, when I interview, I actually listen when I interview. So it's weird. You know, if, if, you, if you're just talking to me out in the world, I'm, I'm blah, 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 blah. But if I'm interviewing you, then I get to listen. Or if I feel like actually talking, you know, having a conversation for real. And that's what I do. So you should too, okay? That's it. I'll talk to you all later, all right? Be well, you know. Oh, wait a second. Get off there. Thank you. Bye. Okay. That's done. That's done. We're right there. And then, you know, so I say talking and walk, marching, marching orders. Marching orders. That's a good one. The brother, say the brother gives more. No, I just put marching orders. Hmm. I gotta put the brother now. Yeah, marching M A R C H. Marching O R D E R. Orders from the brother. Much on from hey, 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 hey. The, you know, the, the, uh, from the brother. Okay, there you go. Um, I'm not tagging anybody. Uh, Add location, Western Branch series. Uh, the oh, oh, did y'all? Well, y'all, oh, no, mind. not y'all. But I wrote this thing about East on the road. I should put on the road. On the road. I like that one. This is the series I put it under. Share. And as that's going up, that's done. Ah. So, like I said, yesterday it seemed like I was getting a cold. Today, nah. <laughs> Don't stay my. Oh, you know what I also learned today? I got to do that maybe tomorrow. Where's my book at? My book has it. But I was trying to figure out why I. I mean, I've been tested for COVID for a lot. I've been tested all over the place. I even got an antibody test, you know, to see if I ever had my body. Doesn't show up. I just did another one that I posted, you know, um, I didn't post it. Yeah, I posted it. I posted it someplace. Uh, yeah, I think I posted it on my, my YouTube, right? Where I'm negative. Again, this is last night, you know, when I have a little thing I thought I was getting a cold. I figured, hey, let me take a, a test and see whatever. Nothing. But I found out on YouTube there's this other thing, and I'll try to maybe I'll put the URL under here. Uh, and it's it, it, it they said there's a, a, a genetic thing, there's a very thing that some people, some of us, so to COVID can't touch us. It's not even about can't touch us. I think I'm one of those people. But there's a test I can take. I'm going to try to get the, uh, the VA to give me this test. You know, it's a common test for, for bone marrow or some, some sort of replacement, whatever have you. You have to have this test. I'm going to try to get it 
get the VA to do it for me. Let's see what happens. I'm really curious because I'm in, I've been in a lot of places. When the epidemic hit, well, epidemic, when the thing hit, I was in New York in the, in the epicenter. Then I went, then I was in Virginia, right? I was, in, I was in St. Louis when the epidemic, that was the epicenter, right? I traveled all over Central, Eastern Cape and, and, and the... Uh, and, and the Western Cape of South Africa, through Combi, and traveling planes, nothing. This is very weird, you know? And I actually wanted, I shouldn't say it this way, but I actually wanted to get it because I figured I have regular immunity, you know what I mean? But it seems like something else is happening. Okay, look, I talk too much about this. I'll, I'll try to post, um, I'll put the URL about the um, uh, uh, about this finding that it is not published yet, but it is going to be published. And, uh, and maybe tomorrow I'll do I'll do a piece on it. I'll see. I'll see what happens. All right? Uh, you'll, you'll take care. Be well. Bye.